welcome back to the channel so in today's episode we're going to be talking about arcade battles worth under arcade battles and some strategies to be used in arcade battles so today i decided to make a video on features that people mostly use for a purpose that you can actually use them for differently let's get right into it as our first um uh, as our first thing which is planes so a lot of the time you'll see that people will not join an attacker because there's no planes attacking them when you press the 8 key or 7 key or 9 key well, 8 or 9 all players will be notified that they can join a match uh, in the air sorry not a match they can just join um their friendlies as a fighter in the air Many people, because they don't see any actual enemies joining, will assume, okay, they're fine. They don't need any air support. However, it's not the air support. The reason why I'm doing this part is because, did you know that you can actually use planes to scout out the objectives, and while your tank is actually idling on the ground you can use it like a drone in the game rainbow six siege where you can put down the drone go around check see where everyone is and then go right back into your um, main vehicle or operator in the case of rainbow six siege and go back to destroying everyone on the ground because you know where they are you know where they're pushing uh, in, a ba in an earlier battle, I actually didn't kill a Crusader Mark, um, AA Mark II. However, I saw that it was at A, and it was pushing towards our spawn. So, using that data, I actually went over to A and spotted him for the rest of my teammates, which took him down in a matter of seconds after that. Another thing to do when you're in a plane is to actually... Like, if you're in an LA-5, for instance, which has good cannons on the front, you can disable flak vehicles. The Whirlwind is a real terror um, to see in arcade battles. They have aimbot. Um, like, it basically saying that it automatically ranges your lead. It ranges you, does your lead for you. So those 20 mils will get their targets. However, with a fighter, if you're in a fighter... They're going to try to focus on the attacker, because they pose more of a threat to them. However, if you're a fighter, you can be kind of an underdog, and attack them from the top. Try to get the back of their turret, because that's actually where their gunner is. Um, another thing that you can do in arcade battles is use, like in Rainbow Six Siege, actually. Another thing that I kind of learned from there, you can actually use your peeker's advantage. Did you know that there's actually a peeker's advantage in this game? Every bit of data has to go to the Gaijin servers and has to go to the other player's computers. So when you peek around a building, it takes, I don't know, a couple of second, maybe half a second, a couple milliseconds to for the signal to get to them. However, a couple of milliseconds in any battle is a ton of time. You can utilize your peeker's advantage. Peek them with a, um, like a tank such as a KV-1, and just destroy them with the L-11 cannon, which is a very powerful um, cannon. And using that, you can get so many more kills. That um, like if you're doing Tunisia, I believe is the map. If you're at the A point, which is in an urban um, environment, you can peek around the buildings and abruptly just destroy everyone. The third thing, and final thing in this video, is... Did you know 
you can actually use artillery to spot out the tanks at different objectives. Because artillery does damage and uh, registers as a hit, you'll notice that the artillery, when it hits, you will get a hit. Uh, it will say you have a hit, you'll get golden lines, you'll get XP, and it pings them on the map for a certain amount of time, which is a very interesting um, thing, in my opinion, being able to call an artillery when you don't know where anyone is. The artillery comes down, and then you have the vehicle types, um, such as uh, tank destroyer, SPAA, medium tank, heavy tank. You kind of get the gist of what they are. So, if you're playing as Germany against Russia, in Kursk, let's say, you're going to call in your artillery, and you're going to see a medium tank pop up. Because you're playing against Russia, the only me good medium tanks they have that are worth the grind at that tier, if you have like a Tiger or a Panzer IV-G, it's the T-3045 D5T. So you know, okay, I see a medium tank. That's probably a T-34 right there. I know where it is. Um, you just need to kind of use your background information um, that you know about the game and then pair that with the spots that you get. So you can get an idea of where exactly the enemy is. On simulator, this will not work. Um, as you don't actually have a minimap, you can call an artillery, though. Um, and arcade battle, you already have... Um, arcade battle, it is a viable strategy. However, this um, strategy with the artillery is more aimed towards RB players because you don't actually have direct eyes on anyone. Uh, you won't actually have the little square that goes around them for spotting. It'll just be... You'll, I mean, you have the mini-map, which is great, so... It's kind of like a guessing game. You need to um, say... I think that they're here, and so you peek out there using your peeker's advantage. And then you can fire, um, judging that you know the range and velocity of your um, cannon, and hopefully get a hopefully get a couple kills. And this is further um, helped by the artillery because if you call an artillery, it gets a hit on the vehicle, on a vehicle around the corner. It'll ping on the minimap, and you can see yourself on the minimap. So, if you know the maps really, really well, you can actually get a sense of the range from you the target is that got hit by the artillery. So, in turn, you are actually able to range them before you get eyes on them, because it shows them on the minimap in relation to you. Any skilled player, and everyone can master this if you are up to the challenge of doing it. Anyone can master it. And yet, once you do, those kills are just going to stack up. You're going to get aces, uh, judging that you get kills, because I'm pretty sure it takes two minutes to recharge artillery uh, in, any, in every game mode. It takes two minutes, I think. But it gets refreshed if you destroy another vehicle. Uh, that's a very good tactic for SPAA, actually. You go um, in your SPAA, you destroy a plane, and you can get your artillery back. But that's basically all the time I have for today. Um, if you could please tune in next time. Uh, we're probably going to talk about the upcoming PV2 Harpoon coming into the game. But anyway, alright. Oh, 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 oh,